The borough can get raucous during FAU basketball games. It was absolutely nuts this weekend for robot basketball. Forget Saturday's Final Four. We're looking into the future. The first robotics competition put together its own basketball tournament. High school students built these things. Most of the teams were from Florida, but some competitors came from as far away as Massachusetts and Puerto Rico. The cheering section? I'm not even sure what galaxy those guys are from. Once the competition started, the goal was to tickle the twine. Not sure Naismith ever envisioned this. The students used joysticks and other controllers to move the robots around. They were trying to hit one of four baskets. The higher the basket, the more points it was worth. Some of these little guys shot with near robotic efficiency. It wasn't exactly the Princeton offense, but some of these high schoolers, they're probably destined for the Ivy League. Apparently, there were some rules, but I couldn't figure out what they were. Fouls could be called. Never saw any of them go to the line. I do know this, if two robots ended the competition by balancing on the teeter-totter, they were awarded extra points. And if one of the robots needed a little extra time because of circuit repairs, well, how about the most peculiar Macarena line you've ever seen? What about some breakdancing, guys? Shouldn't they be doing the robot? The purpose of this is to teach kids about engineering, science, and math. Uh, using the robotic competition as a vehicle um, to get it in their face and get them involved. And I started out uh, doing this in high school, and uh, I continued to uh, mentor my team after I was after I had graduated, gone to college, and here I'm back doing it again as a volunteer. Are robot athletics is that the future of sport? Perhaps, or maybe bionic athletics. Who knows? But this is a step in the right direction. Are you at all worried about performance-enhancing drugs? Nah, not really. They're robots. They can't take drugs. No word as to whether Mike Jarvis brought the Owls over for some three-point shooting tips. Jarvis does, however, have at least one extra scholarship to hand out now that Ray Taylor has decided to go pro. Hey, these guys will play for oil. Bringing the story to OwlAccess.com, I'm Chuck King.